I'm not afraid of dying, I'm afraid of living. This quote pretty much summarizes the entire story of protagonist Craig Gilner from the book It's Kind of a Funny Story by Ned Vizzini. Set in the streets of Brooklyn and later on in an adult psychiatric hospital, the author Ned Vizzini beautifully portrays protagonist Craig Gilner's story with numerous touching events and vivid descriptions. So the story starts out with Craig, who after numerous hours of hard work, gets accepted into Executive Pre-Professional High School, one of the most prestigious high schools in Brooklyn. Craig thinks his life will become very happy and successful once he enters a high school, though as he attends his new school, he is very overwhelmed by the amount of homework and work he has to complete, which leads him to get depressed. He suffers from severe depression symptoms such as not being able to eat or sleep, and one day Craig decides to commit suicide, though he's unable to do so as he accidentally checks himself into an adult psychiatric hospital. In the hospital, he meets a lot of um, different people who, like Craig, have a, their own special story to be told. As Craig meets a lot of new people in the hospital, he learns to overcome his depression. Although my explanation may make this book sound like a very depressing, sad book, it's actually a very heartwarming, happy book. I think like the theme of this book is learning to overcome your weakness and doing what truly makes you happy. Because in the book, like I can't tell you exactly what, but Craig learns what makes him truly happy and learns to do actually do the thing that makes him happy. He also meets a lot of different people who helps him become happy and helps him overcome his weakness, his depression. It's also quite interesting because the author of this book, Ned Vizzini, also suffered from depression himself and stayed in an adult psychiatric hospital for exactly five days as Craig has in this book. I think people who um, enjoy books by John Green or just like really heartwarming realistic fiction books in general would really really like this book and unfortunately the author of this book Ned Vizzini passed away on December 19th 2013 after committing suicide in Brooklyn and I think um, this book since it relates to his the author's own real life experiences it's like book that will make us remember him forever so but anyways it's a really really heartwarming happy book and you totally should read it because yeah it's really good so read the book